Hello, I'm Becky Cooper. I'm the leader of Worthing Council and this is my regular video update as to what has been a very busy and a very hot couple of weeks. I hope that you have all managed to stay safe and well and cool in these extremely hot temperatures. The weather has now broken a bit but it is still quite muggy so still do take care of yourselves. Thank you very much to everybody who I know has been out and about in our communities, looking after your neighbours, looking after older people, people with underlying health conditions, just checking up on them, making sure that they're drinking enough, making sure that they're taking care of themselves. It is heartening and fantastic to see our communities coming together um, in these sort of times. It's also a very timely reminder that we're living with our climate emergency and that we need to do everything that we can in our power, both in the council, with our partners and as communities to make sure that we are taking care of our planet and that Worthing's doing our part for this. So there'll be much more about that in the weeks and days and months ahead. Cost of living emergency, we declared um, this as a crisis, as an emergency for the council last night. We did this because we wanted to make it very clear that this is a priority for us as a council, but also that we want all our partners now to come together with us to make sure that we are dealing with this as best we can in Worthing to make sure that the people in our communities who are really hardest hit are going to be able to feed their families, heat their homes through the winter and to pay their rents. We've all been hit by the cost of living emergency. We're going to need to work with businesses to make sure that they're getting the support that they need. We're going to make sure um, we're going to need to make sure that our communities are resilient. Um, I think that this is not going to be resolved overnight and so we're putting in place a shorter term plan to make sure that People do have food for today, tomorrow and next week. Also a longer term plan to make sure that Worthing is a resilient town and that our businesses can thrive and good jobs can be here and that people can take care of their families well for many years to come. It's an incredibly important priority and one that we're going to be putting lots of work in to and making sure that we're communicating clearly with you. Part of communicating with you is obviously listening. It's very important and our big listening campaign will kick off at the beginning of August watch out for those um, event notices coming out. Hopefully you're going to run into us anyway on your local high street, in the town centre, uh, in various events um, that we're going to be running. We're really keen to start this conversation, uh, well to continue this conversation with you and the predominant part of us going out is not to talk, I'm always talking right, um, but it's to listen, to listen to you and to make sure that what we're proposing, what we propose in our manifesto and our election manifesto is in line with what our communities really need and making sure that we're getting those details right. So please come along if you see a big listening campaign advertised near you. If you happen to nip to the shops and see us out there um, sitting in our deck chairs ready to listen, please come along, tell us what you think and take part because that way Worthing can really become a town that um, reflects its residents, the very best of all its residents, and make sure that we're taking care of each other. We've also had um, an ongoing conversation about Chatsmore Farm. I know that many of you came to the protests and many of you feel very strongly that there shouldn't be houses built on Chatsmore Farm. That's going to appeal this week. Um, it's going to be heard up at the High Court. Uh, so as soon as we know the results of that, then we'll be letting you know and what the next steps are for that. Uh, I had my monthly um, surgery here in Marine Ward and uh, what I'm hearing quite a lot of as well as cost, cost of living emergency and issues around you know keeping our green spaces green that's incredibly important to you all um, is also parking and I know at this time of year when we're getting loads of tourists in and um, that perhaps becomes more visible but we have you know increasing problems with residential parking and um, so that is an issue that we're looking at with county colleagues we are taking it seriously. We do appreciate that um, people need somewhere to park, but also alongside that, we also want to make Worthing um, a green and friendly place and an easy place um, for people to cycle and walk. That doesn't happen overnight, but again, we will be taking a serious look at that now and making sure that we are working with all of you, with our key partners, um, to invest uh, time and resources, financial resources, to make that a reality. In terms of greening, um, I'm aware that some of you um, have been very cross this week because the community verges that um, people worked so hard to put together, those places where we agreed wouldn't be mown, wouldn't be cut and we put wildflowers, unfortunately have been cut. It is a case of human error. I know it's terrible to hear and people think, oh my goodness, how can that happen? And the people who cut it down just weren't aware. The communications have broken down up at County and they've apologised profusely and they have offered um, to give my colleague, the cabinet member for the environment, Councillor Wells, um, some wildflower seeds to recompense and make sure that we can grow back 
um, some beautiful community verges. So I'm as cross and as frustrated as many of you out there are, but I think that yeah, sometimes human error is what it is and we have to take that and move on. I think I'm going to leave it there for now. There's lots of other things going on, but um, I will try and get back to you again very soon. Do stay well. Do take care in this hot weather. If you are travelling, um, go safe and I look forward to speaking to you again very soon. Thank you. Bye bye.